You notice at the top left hand corner of your screen you have this edit button. This allows us to take a tool from a 2.5D state into a full 3D state. Let's take a look at an example of this. I'm going to click inside my tool palette to open up this shelf and I'm going to select something like the gear 3D. If I now click and draw into my canvas I'll draw that in. But you notice if you try to sculpt on it you're just going to draw in more gears. I'm going to hit Control N to clear this. Once again, I'll click and draw to draw this gear in, but this time I'm going to go up to the Edit button. Be aware that the keyboard shortcut for the Edit button is the letter T. Now that I've pressed the Edit button, I can rotate this gear, I can move it, or even scale it. If I were to hit the Edit button again, I will now drop this gear to canvas, and now it's in 2.5D state. Again, you'll notice that my active tool is a gear, so I can draw in more gears. If I hit Edit, the last gear that I drew in will now become 3D again. And then I can hit Edit to drop that to canvas one more time. When it's dropped to canvas, we can actually do very unique things like use our smudge brush to kind of smear this all together. Again, Control N to clear. You'll notice if you bring in an object from your start menu, so I'll go back to the start menu and select something like this human head, it'll already be in edit mode. So the minute I click inside my canvas I can start to rotate, move, and scale this face. If I were to click edit at this point I would drop this face to canvas and then of course I couldn't rotate it anymore. But I could however draw more of these faces in hit the edit key, position them, and then hit edit to drop them to canvas. I could then use some of my 2.5D tools like the snake hook brush to make some interesting changes to the pixels on the surface.